Hi, it's Ryan from Uncanny Owl. In this video, we're going to create a recipe that has multiple triggers. Note that multiple triggers do require using a pro license or higher. We'll get started by choosing to add a new recipe. For this example, I'm going to set up a recipe where buying two specific products unlocks a bonus course and sets a tag in active campaign. I'll be using WooCommerce products, so let's start by choosing the first product as one of the triggers. The blue text here indicates I need to click into it to make a choice. I want my triggers for specific products, and the first one is called Automator Basics. Now I'll save the trigger. Next is the second product in a second trigger. It's WooCommerce again, then the Advanced Workflows product. I'll save that one again. Note that for a recipe to run, all triggers must be satisfied. So in this case, the recipe will only fire when the user buys both of these products. If you want recipes instead where users could buy one or the other, you'll want two separate recipes instead. Okay, that takes care of the triggers. Let's set up some of the actions. First up is enrolling the user in the bonus course. I'll use the Learn Dash plugin for that then enroll the user in a course. We'll use Automator Logs and then save it. Next is setting a tag in Active Campaign for this course purchase combination. So that's under WP Fusion, though you could maybe use Zapier 2. Then under WP Fusion, we'll add a tag and use the Education tag at the top for this example. After that, we have our recipe. Of course, this won't run yet because everything is still in a draft state. So I'll just go over to these switches and set everything to live. Then the recipe itself is live. And now the recipe is all finished and it's running. Everything saved automatically, so we didn't have to do anything else. And it will start tracking purchases for those two products. The actions we set up will only run when both products have been purchased. 